Alrighty, y'all. Welcome back to the show. I hope you're not very hungry watching this because it's going to be a hard watch if you are. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me. I have not eaten breakfast yet. Uh, this is the top 10 Belgian foods you must try in Brussels. Uh, now, we haven't looked at Belgium in a little bit here. I've liked what I've seen so far. I would like to learn a lot more, quite frankly. Uh, but I have heard uh, throughout my life that Belgium is pretty known for food. Uh, I think it would be a great place to go have a bite to eat. We're going to learn about it. It's from a channel called Nick and Kim, and uh, it will be linked in the description down below so you can check out this whole video and, of course, a browser channel as well. Now, this was suggested to me uh, by email, actually, uh, from Martin Adams, so thank you for that as well. Real quick, you know I like to keep things interactive and uh, share my experience. Before we even get into this, I want to show you one of my favorite restaurants of all time. Uh, we split time uh, living between you know northern Illinois, just outside of Chicago, and of course uh, southern New Mexico, the state, uh, down by the border. And in Las Cruces, that city, uh, they have a wonderful restaurant called A Bite of Belgium. Now, I want to show you their website just so anyone watching this from Belgium or uh, from the surrounding area in Europe, uh, you can comment if it looks good, if it looks too Americanized. I'm not claiming it's like totally like Belgium because I wouldn't know. But I tell you what, it is good for what it is. It is a really good restaurant. To me, you wouldn't even expect to find a Belgian restaurant in the middle of the Chihuahua Desert, but it's there. So if we hop on over to their website, there it is, A Bite of Belgium on Alameda in Las Cruces. You can see the wonderful New Mexico architecture, the stucco, the yuccas in the distance there, <laughs> cactus everywhere. Uh, that, But yeah, that adobe uh, stucco look really cool. But yeah, if we look at the food, there is a some screenshots of some of their offerings. Go to like breakfast and lunch because I always went there early uh, for breakfast or brunch, I, I guess you could say. Uh, there are some... Uh, items now if you want to if you see green chili that's a new mexico thing they put green chili in everything it is absolutely amazing otherwise known as hatch green chili it is really good so that part is definitely uh new mexicanized i guess you could say uh that's common everywhere there but if you ignore the green chili part um maybe you can comment on this see what looks good or see what you know isn't maybe you could tell me you know what is semi-accurate to Belgian cuisine. Maybe it's totally Americanized. Either way, it's a really good place, and I thought I'd throw that in there because it is one of uh, my wife and I's favorite places, and I thought it'd be a cool connection to today's video where I can actually see some real Belgian food. Uh, and then, you know, looking at their About Us page, they have some more uh, yummy screenshots there, and it says, what is a Liège waffle? I'm probably saying that wrong. When Americans refer to a Belgian waffle, they are usually referring to a simplified version of the Brussels waffle, often made with a pancake-like batter. The Liège, yeah, the Liège waffle is from the city of Liège in eastern Belgium. It is richer, denser, sweeter, and chewier waffle. Uh, these were invented by the chef of the Prince Bishop of Liège in the 18th century as an adapt adaptation of brioche bread dough. They feature chunks of pearl sugar that caramelize on the outside of the waffle when baked. They're the most common type of waffle available in Belgium and, pre and prepared in plain vanilla and cinnamon varieties by street vendors across the nation. That sounds awesome. Street food in Belgium sounds quite amazing. So anyway, I thought I'd throw that in there. Um, yeah, there's where it is. That's beautiful Las Cruces. So if you see the desert there, um, you know, you wouldn't expect to see a Belgian restaurant. I thought that was pretty funny. So yeah, on to the, to the video now. That's thought I'd show you that tidbit into uh, a little behind the scenes of, you know, what I like to eat when I go out. And uh, let's get into some real Belgian food in Brussels here. I'm really excited. And hungry. <laughs> Welcome to Belgium, guys. Today we're going to take you on a Belgian food tour here in Brussels. And Beautiful we're going to show place. you the top 10 dishes you need to wow. try when you come here Look to Belgium. We're going to show you some of the ultimate Belgian classics. And if you watch all the way until the end of this video, we're going to be eating the best chocolate dessert in all of the country and perhaps even the world. Belgian we're going to start off with Pretty the famous. most popular food here in Belgium, Belgian fries. Oh, okay. And we think of fries, you might think of places like McDonald's, but to us Belgians that no McDonald's, yuck. Would be blasphemy. Yeah. We don't go to McDonald's, we go to the local friterie, the fry shack, and they have the best fries here. There you the go. World. Oh man, I did not expect to see this. 
Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I love that container it's in too. Oh, yummy. Here we have the Belgian fries. They've been fried twice until they are golden brown, very crispy. And the best way to eat it is with a sauce. You have a dozen sauces to choose from, sometimes even more. But the most popular one <laughs> is this one. It is mayonnaise. Oh, you know what? I can do the Belgian fries 100%. They look delightful. And I would literally choose any other of the 12 sauces. Uh, the only one I could not do is mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. I just they couldn't do that. Just a few seconds before they give them to you, so they're like really hot, really crispy, very fresh, and not soggy at all. That is really important. And there are a bunch of assorted fried meat snacks you can have to go with it. One wow. of our absolute favorites is a frikandel special, which is basically a fried sausage that they slice open. They fill it up with mayonnaise, ketchup, and a few of these freshly diced onions. I'd probably be down to try that that sounds pretty good regardless i know this looks like we went over <laughs> i love board, onions i swear other people in belgium have this too yummy oh yeah <laughs> hey you know what pretty uh reasonably priced uh i like how they i appreciate how they put the u.s dollar value there these are these aren't bad it's just real this sort of stuff and we miss whenever we go abroad this is brussels most famous restaurant street it's called the rue de boucher it used to be really really good but it has become very touristy in the last few years so you really need to know which restaurant to pick fortunately we know just the place Boy, that place is, that whole uh, environment is beautiful, by the way. Classical Belgian cuisine. It's really a very traditional looking restaurant. Ooh, what is that green stuff? Merci. Merci These are mussels, of course, which okay. are french fries as a side dish because we Belgian are- Belgian fries. <laughs> Belgian fries, because we- Yeah, never pass off other fries. I don't blame you, those look good. So we got mussels in Brussels. They are Belgian, <laughs> of course, we like to eat fries. We pretty nice. much anything. The mussels are prepared in this big pot. They're just boiled for a few minutes. And when they're ready, when they're boiled, they open up. Take them out by hand, take your fork. Mm. I would be down to try it, of course, because I'd be in a new environment. It'd, it'd be, I mean, I'm sure it's really good. I do have to admit, I don't think I've ever had mussels, ever. I mean, I have muscle on me. I'm saying, yeah, I've never eaten mussels before so that would be new for perfection me. And you can have them plain but there's also many different types of sauces or condiments you can add i took the one with white wine so they add some white wine a oh, little cool. bit of garlic even once you get to about halfway your pot of mussels you should look down here dig in a little bit like this wow and you get to the gold this is the mussel broth the sauce that wow. comes with it because okay. the, the mussels mixed together with the white wine that they put in here this is actually one of my favorite parts of eating mussels. Oh. I bet that's good. Mm. One of the best ones I had actually. If you really want to look Belgian, you've got Yum. to do two things. One, take this half of a mussel, put it here, and then you can use this oh, to eat the Oh, wow, that's... And number two, that is clever. drink some beer with it. Yes. This is called white beer. It perfectly accompanies Yummy. the mussels. They go really well together. We actually have a beer for pretty much any dish we have. So I tell you what, whenever I see video of beer in Europe, it makes my mouth water. It just looks so foamy and just the right shade of gold. If you have oh, other mussels, that looks, have this one. That looks so yummy. And this <laughs> is eel in the green. This is a super Ooh. typical fish dish for the northern part of Belgium, for the Flemish part where we are from. In wow. Dutch, we call this paling in tune, eel in the green. It has this incredible green color in the sauce. Yeah. This is basically a fresh herb sauce. This is actually my first ever wow. time trying this. Now, typically, when my dad watches... Well, that's good to know that it's naturally green. It's not dyed green, so... So that's that's a relief uh that is different that is different and i say this is the first <laughs> time i ever did this i've never done this before a lot of times dad will come and tell me though of course you've done this before kim so as far as i can remember beyond the age of five this is the first time trying it <laughs> Ooh, i wonder what that tastes really, like really yeah very very herby and it has this really strong, it probably eel flavor. It's like fishy, but not a type of fish that I've ever had before. Wow. I'm gonna give the eel a try. Yeah, I'd, I'd be down really, to try really it. Really strong for sure. A really, really particular taste that eel. And to go with it, we have some mashed potato. Yummy. By far, the most popular oh, Belgian yeah. sweet snack is this. 
the waffle. We have several yeah. kinds of waffles. We have Brussels waffles that we tried in a different video of Belgium that we did last year, which are more very light, very crispy. And oh. these are the Liège waffles, une gaufre de Liège. It is more of a heavier type of okay. dough. Either one would be delicious, I think. <laughs> it's so good. This is a traditional way that we have it here in Belgium. We're pretty civilized people. But mostly we just eat it like this, just the dough. The tourists, on the other hand, they have the version with like loads of fruit, loads of oh, whipped cream, yeah. sometimes even sauces. Like, See, so I would definitely try it plain first because you know that stuff's good on its own, right? It's, it's even that heavier version. I'm sure it's just like heavy, but it's sort of... Uh, fluffy once you get into it and i'm sure it's just delightful uh, i mean you're in one of the best places for sweets in the world i would definitely have it plain first uh, these look a little too much i mean yeah they look amazing right but uh, i don't i can't handle many sweets at once so i'd have to like maybe take this chocolate covered strawberry version and cut it in like a quarter <laughs> and just have a corner of it uh, and i'm sure it would be delightful as well Chocolate, but I would definitely try it plain first. Caramel sauce. Normally we don't do that, but since today, we thought some of you might be interested in that yeah. as well. And by some of you, I mean, I mean myself included. Very good. We have also <laughs> a Liège goof with some dark chocolate sauce, some wow. whipped cream, and some strawberries. I like Here that goes dark the most chocolate. decadent taste of waffle I have ever had. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's a messy one. That's a messy uh, dish. <laughs> I thought it was just whipped cream. <laughs> yeah, chocolate and chocolate. It's pretty good, but slightly over the top. Just Shame. Yeah. Don't, Shame. don't Shame. do this. Just be normal. <laughs> Damn. We're now heading towards more food, more delicious Belgian food, but we're now crossing the Grand Place here, the beautiful central square in that Brussels. It is, is the most beautiful square in all of Brussels. Some say even all of the world. I don't know. I'm pretty biased because we are from Belgium. Yeah, I have to say it does look pretty spectacular. Wow, look at that. Holy overload. There is like so many choices in there. There's a bunch wow. of different ways to have chocolate in Belgium. One of them is these really cool crafted tools. They made a What? Those are like pliers. Chocolate thing. That's so oh, yeah. cool. You like can have Why? It's awesome. <laughs> you can have chocolate bars, you can have chocolate truffles even. You can have pretty much everything chocolate. Nice. But the best chocolate desserts, what we're gonna have at the end of this video. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a very famous local dessert as well. It's called a Kuberdan or a Neuseke. It's a Dutch word for nose. It's made wow. in Ghent actually, it originates in Ghent, but they sell it pretty much everywhere in Belgium. It's That's made out of sugar, starch, and Arabic gum, and it's put in this cone shape and then baked in an oven for a few hours. Wow. Taste. It's really good. You can really tell this is still a fresh one yeah. because the outer layers crystallize a little bit tender and on the inside you've got this gooey, gooey syrup. It's very sweet but very tasty. It has a little bit of a raspberry taste and I really, really like it. A lot of Belgian people like it too. And if you come here, you should definitely try it. I wonder if that's more, yeah, he said it was gooey in the center. I wonder if it's like flaky and then chewy uh, in the center or... I don't know. That That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had anything quite like that. Before we continue with the next four dishes of this food tour, we are going to do one of the things that we highly recommend you do when you come to Belgium. Yes. Beer. Oh, I would definitely... My favorite thing to do in Brussels when you spend some time here walking beer. around from <laughs> restaurant to restaurant or just visiting places is having a nice Belgian beer. We have the best beers in the world. I can honestly say that. We actually have Damn. over a thousand different beers in Belgium. Oh and uh, here God. are two of our favorites. This is my favorite Belgian beer. It's called Chimay Bleu. This is a Trappist. These are beers that are brewed by monks inside a monastery. We're actually sitting just 10 or wow. 20 meters from where Monarch Pis is. This is Brussels' most famous statue, <laughs> most famous inhabitant, just around the corner here. And if you visit there, you should definitely come here. Perhaps that, uh, that statue boy is had some beers. It's flowing oh, right out, right? In, down the hatch, and <laughs> it's a out the beer drain there. We have more than 100 different beers here. When That's you spend amazing. a full day walking from restaurant to restaurant, like in this case for this food tour, this is the perfect break. Oh, yeah. Wow. I am going to have to look and see uh, until I can 
plant my butt in a seat in Brussels, in Belgium, that would be um, amazing. <laughs> Until that can happen, uh, I will have to see if I can find any Belgian beer somehow, um, somewhere stateside here in the United States. That would be really cool because these just look amazing. They really do. If you would like to share, give me some of your favorites, you know, some of your favorite uh, Belgian brews that are just too good to pass up. I would love to hear about them. What a cool place. So now we've come to this restaurant where we actually used to come all the time when we still lived in Brussels. We are at the Skiverlot and I am having a filet américain, which is ground up wow. raw beef. It's this right here. There's a bunch of seasonings in there. Wow. There's some capers in there. There's some diced onion and then mayonnaise and mustard to bind it all together. This might look weird to a lot of people, but it's actually... It looks weird to me. I mean, it says sort of like American in the... Um dish title but yeah that i've never quite had it's something super like typical that. in belgium and it was invented here in brussels interesting okay this uh salad part looks good as well of course the belgian fries again <laughs> this one has quite a bit of mustard oh that's really really good and it usually comes so is that hot or cold with this side salad with a bit of dressing on there and of course some belgian fries this is the of typical course. way to have it <laughs> These are boulette or meatballs. It's like Ooh. the very typical Belgian dish. It's what people eat at home. It comes with this sauce that is made out of goose. It's a local Brussels beer, actually. Oh, yummy. That looks delightful. <laughs> and the Belgian mm. fries, again. If you want to try some homemade Belgian food, definitely come here and try it because this is so good. We're going to do the final two dishes tomorrow for us, which for you will be in about 10 seconds. See you in the morning. <laughs> very nice, very nice looking place. All right, what For do we got? Dish, we're going to have a very typical Belgian stew. We're at a really special restaurant, actually. It's called Tavern de Lin. This place is run by one of our friends, Francis. If you've seen our previous videos, he's uh, in there. This restaurant actually very employs cool. people who come from a vulnerable background. They provide them with training and coaching so that after a few years of working here, they have more options in the job market, which is actually really, really nice. That's Almost cool. all of their products are locally sourced. For example, this is cola, locally sourced cola, just wow. three kilometers down the road. But it's very cool. We're here for the food. This is called Vol au Vol, or in Dutch, Koninkin Hapje. It's a chicken stew with mushrooms in it, some meatballs, and the quintessential part is a milfeuille, this crunchy cookie that you eat with it. Some sauce. Cheers. Wow. It's nice and gooey and creamy. The chicken is super, super tender. Oh, and this, yeah. the milfeuille, gives it a little bit of crispiness. That's cool. Mm. Perfect. I've missed this so much. But what we're really here for is the best chocolate dessert in the country. If there is one thing you have to try when you come to Belgium, it is Belgian chocolate. And there are myriad ways to try it. You can just buy it at a shop, at a specialty shop. You can buy these cutesy little decorated palinas right. that are just these little sweet gems. <laughs> or you can have our favorite Belgian dessert, Ooh. which is moelleux au chocolat. This is basically a dark chocolate cake with molten chocolate on the inside. Oh, that looks damn good. And you got your little helping of strawberries, presumably vanilla ice cream. Yeah, that would be a good dessert. Typically in Belgium, it is served with some ice cream on yeah. the side. Moelleux is made of dark chocolate, flour, sugar, it. butter, and eggs. And they mix it all up into this chocolate dough. And then they bake it in the oven for about 12 minutes. Now, it's actually not easy to find a moelleux that is done just right, because it's very right. important that the center stays really, really gooey, whereas the outside has to become slightly crispy. Yeah, finding that exact uh, consistency you want that outside slightly crispy, the inside gooey. I bet that's hard to get right every time, or you know, you got to find the right place. I bet when done right, though, that is just divine. Look yeah, look, look at that contrast. Wow, look at that chocolate gooeyness. <laughs> Molten hot chocolate is running right out of the center. Damn, <laughs> I love dessert. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, combine that with some ice cream. In the next video, we're Yum. going to take you to the most beautiful place in all of Belgium. Those but fries look so good. That was awesome. Uh, great suggestion. 
Uh, I am really freaking hungry now, <laughs> so uh, I got to find something to eat. And unfortunately, it won't be quite as exquisite as anything we saw here. But uh, I tell you what, it's on my radar. That looks really, really good. I can't wait to hear about what you guys have to say in the comments. Do you agree with these? Uh, are some of these your favorite foods? What other foods did we miss in this video that I need to know about? I would love to hear your thoughts. Food is just something that uh, varies all around the world, and there's so many ways to do different dishes. Uh, it's really always a fun time. So this was great. I think Belgium is safe to say has a really strong food culture really strong food culture would love to see more so look for that original uh link in the description down there make sure to check them out that was really well done please throw a like on there if you enjoyed it subscribe to be part of this amazing community we do have here oh i have to go eat i'm not even kidding <laughs> my name is ian you're watching iw rocker and until next time y'all catch you later